Boy, here comes our executive manager, Andrew Jackson, who, hey guys, by the way, he's been doing a hell of a job. A phenomenal job. He's been doing a hell of a job here at the Reality of Wrestling, making exciting matches, exciting signings. I mean, he told us we were gonna get a big name in the last stand rumble, and he was an important part of bringing in Maven. Maven's coming to the last stand. <laughs> Can you believe it? I mean, Andrew Jackson is truly the face here of the place. What's going on, Row Nation? Make some noise! I have to take these glasses off. I am so excited. Are you excited for the last stand rumble? May 9th. Oh my gosh. May 9th. The last stand rumble is one of the biggest most exciting oh. Oh. Well, hold on now oh Max Castellanos is coming out to uh, perhaps interrupt our executive manager oh, he better be careful as Max Castellanos has uh, that iconic chair of his but seems permanently strapped to his wrist what business does Max Castellanos have with Andrew Jackson right now. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. We saw a, a, an incredible Texas championship match between him and Ryan Davidson, which we still have to come in our main event, Jacob Fatu okay, and Ryan. Okay, how can I help you? Did you say you're having a rumble? Yes, I did. Well, Max Castellanos wants in the rumble. I like it! I do too! <laughs> oh, he's gonna put him. Hey, wait a sec. What? What? The hell? Yo, since we out here declaring rumble spots and all, if he's in, we in too. Whoa. Oh, wow. I like it! Woo! This Slide dog, what, 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 don't what is happening right now? What the hell is going on? Yeah. At the reality of us. I don't know, but Andrew Jackson is tight. Everybody is declaring for the last stand rumble. Well, I mean, we have a massive entrant in Maven. We know Clay Roberts will be in the last stand. And now, Max Castellanos fly deaf. <laughs> Andrew Jackson trying to get control. Now, y'all you know, know y'all can't have a rumble without that stone, baby. Like it! Woo I'll tell you, you've been a great time. Wait a second, what? Cruel fate for me. Reach for the stars. Claim your destiny. Woo! Hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Well, here comes Mason D. Madden, who we saw victorious a couple of weeks ago against Inferno Tiger. Actually on a bit of a winning streak here since making his return to the row. And he's feeling confident, he's feeling ready. I think we know what he's coming out here to say. I, what, what, what you do? Do you have an idea? Abel, it's cute that you got these Jamooks volunteering themselves for the Rumble, but you need a little star power. You need Mason D. Madden in this last sand Rumble. I like it! Okay, so we now have five more. Wait, wait. Oh boy, we got more. Oh wow. Not only do we have more. I'm losing my mind. Are they about to play your music next, Brad? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> this is the man who actually, I believe, officially eliminated me in the last stand rumble. Yeah, I remember that. But you know, we since made up. We see eye to eye. Gaspar Hernandez, member of the Heat. 
Oh my, I, I, I feel worried for Andrew Jackson's safety right now. That ring is a powder keg. You think he's gonna like this one? I am in the rumble. I like it! <laughs> Hold up, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about we have a pre-rumble right here tonight? Oh, wow. I like it. <laughs> hold up, hold up. How about we have an over-the-top pre-rumble and the winner gets the number 30 spot. How about that, Bo Nation? Get me some referees out here. That match starts right now. Here we like go. It. Well, referees are coming to the outside, so it's a pre-rumble. So this is pretty easy for the folks at home. You eliminate a competitor by going over the top rope and both feet hitting the floor. And look, Mason Mann in the corner, <laughs> letting these men just beat at each other. Well, here's a lot of interesting things at play here. Of course, you have Max Castellanos, you have Edge Stone, Gaspar Hernandez, Mason D. Matt. They're some of the biggest men on the entire reality wrestling roster. But Zach Mason and, and Warren Johnson, a tag team, but in here as singles competitors tonight. Yes, but definitely using that strength there of their tag team brotherhood to try to get Max Castellanos out. And the way to win this matchup, you got to toss people over the top and both feet have to touch the ground. As now Gaspar Hernandez touched or re re returned his attention over to Mason D. Madden. And here oh, we go. Look at this. Oh, oh, big uppercut. Mason D. Madden said there would need to be a little star power. They're taking the shades the off. Oh! oh. Getting not silly there by a headbutt from Edge Stone. And now Gaspar takes advantage of that. And this is going to be just chaos here until we start getting eliminations as all hell is breaking loose right now. Uh, look at this. Andrew Jackson handing out rumble slots like Oprah. Like I, <laughs> well, I mean, this has to be some of the most exciting 10 minutes in reality wrestling history. We go from finding out that Maven is going to be in the last stand rumble to finding out these six men are also going to be in the last stand rumble and one of them will get the number 30 spot. We already know Clay Roberts will be entering number one in the rumble. Who will be entering number 30? We're going to find out just here in a few minutes. I Matt. can't imagine what else is going to happen March 9th here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. And you know that the number 30 spot is not only the cover oh, spot because you spend the least time amount of time in the ring, but also Ryan Davidson himself won from the last spot when he won the last stand. Oh, but look at this. Minute number 20. Warren J trying to get Max over. Oh, and here it goes. Oh, oh Zach Mason is eliminated. Zach Mason eliminated somebody in this battle royal here. Now, Max Castellanos will still be Wait a minute, in the wait a minute. But oh. Oh. Wait a minute! What? Every man for himself, of course. Oh! A2! Oh! oh. A2 Brute! Sam Mason, who's had great showings in the last stand as well, just eliminated Warren J. In the very first last stand, Zach Mason actually made it to the last two alongside oh, the eventual no. winner, Rex A2. Andrews! Oh. Let's go, indeed, but watch this. Mason be mad. Oh, again. Low blow. It is, it isn't, le it isn't illegal. And now he tosses him oh, over, and there he goes. Ed Stone's Ed star power, baby. Okay, number 30 are gone. Why are you clapping for that? That was some star power. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, but speaking wait of star minute. power. I think Stone may have been thinking that he got gas bar. Now oh, let's save it for the rumble, guys. As we got the last two here, it's going to be Gaspar. Well, and Edge, Zach Mason, one of these is going to be number 30. Edge Stone, Mason D. Madden. Now the man is going to be 30, and what would it mean for Zach Mason? What would it mean for Zach Mason? How, however, he's got to go back there and answer to his brother, Warren J. Well, we saw Booker T tell Matty Ice and tell Gaspar Hernandez, y'all need to go out there and do something. Prove something to me. Now Gaspar here, oh, gets caught. Oh, 
No, look at that, the crazed look in Gaspar's eyes. Gaspar puts Zach on the top. Now Zach's gotta watch out because this dust count is going over the top rope. Oh, now in a very dangerous spot. Oh my. No, no referee can break this because there's no rope breaks here. Only way to win is for you to go over the top rope, which is oh, right now is Gaspar is being pulled up. Oh, oh wait no. a minute. Who hit first? Who hit first? Who hit Ladies first? Ladies and gentlemen, you are a winner at the number 30 entry in the last team rumble, Zach Mason! Zach Mason has earned himself the number 30 spot in the last stand. He may have won the number 30 spot, but at what cost taking out his own partner? Well, you know that he's going to be going into the last stand with a lot of energy and a lot of momentum. And now the Vegas odds, probably Vegas odds favorite. Well, still to come in our main event, the Texas Championship up for grabs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Reality of Wrestling. I'm Chris Russo standing at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena with my guest at this time, Josiah John, we are mere moments from seeing you in the ring, in action against your opponent, Matty Ice. Last time we saw the two of you together in the ring, last year's Last Stand Rumble. You all were the final two, but he threw you over and won the match. Anything changed here? Different results? Different expectations? Different expectations, different results. See, the mission statement, that's the same. I elevate and I execute. See, I'm not like Matty Ice. I don't need my friends to win, and I don't need to take the easy way out. And that's how he won the last stand last year. Hold Let's talk on, about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's how I won last year? See, I recall it as I just kicked your ass last year. And this whole different result? No, there is no different result, Josiah. Tonight, I beat you just like last time. Then I win back the Reality of Wrestling Championship just like last year. And all these people that I hang out with, mm -hmm. the one in particular, mm -hmm. talk about even it. though you think he is. He ain't your daddy. Mm -hmm. All this yip yapping. Let's fight about it. How about that? Row Nation, let's take it to ringside to Brad, Brittany, and Kirby. <laughs> Welcome into another edition of Reality of Wrestling here, ladies and gentlemen, as we are getting things started with the Rocket, Josiah John, making his way down to the ring with a man that he's very, very familiar with, Brad. Yes, he is. Josiah John and Matty Ice, we saw them face off at the beginning of our show. And Josiah and Matty have a long history going back to last year's The Last Stand match, The Last Stand Rumble, when they were the final two in The Last Stand Rumble, where Matty Ice went on to be victorious. And that carried Matty Ice over to a championship victory where he got to call himself the Reality of Wrestling Champion. You gotta imagine, that weighs heavily on Josiah. champion making his way down to the ring and you know that he's got to be feeling good with the last stand coming up soon because this man right here shares the record for most eliminations in a single rumble along with Jacob Fatu at six but he also holds the record for the longest stand in the last stand over 40 minutes I believe Matty Ice was in the last stand match, also won the biggest last stand rumble in history when the match expanded to 30 entrants wow. from the traditional 20. Saying, look, it's Matty Ice. Ice in his veins. As here we go. 
Matty Ice hoping to get back up to championship contention. And I feel like we got to talk about what happened just a few weeks ago when Matty Ice interrupted the Reality Wrestling Championship match between Will Alday and Chandler Hopkins, Brittany. Well, I mean, he's vying for spot at the Last Stand Rumble, which he could then go against Will all day, but I mean, he's already called it. He feels like he's ready. He feels like he's gonna become the champion once again. Lightning could very well strike twice. Josiah John, very careful with his movements here, does not want to make a mistake and possibly lose to Matty Ice once again. Well, as you said, you know, they were the final two, and it was Josiah John's rookie year. He's grown a lot, leaps and bounds since that time. So he has a lot more on his plate to be able to focus and be able to rise to the top and rise to the occasion. Well, hey, guys, but look, let's also talk about the last time we saw Matty Ice. Okay? The last time we saw Matty Ice, he interrupted that match with Chandler Hopkins and Will oh. Alday for that road title. Now you, you you know what's on the on the ice man's mind. He wants to go back into the last stand, win the whole damn thing again, and go against Will all day at the Summer Champions. That's what he wants. And you know that he's gonna have a gigantic target on his back because again he does hold several records. He's probably the most dangerous oh. man heading into the last stand rumble this year. Oh, oh, showing that dangerous side right now, laying out Josiah John with those fists. Interestingly enough, Matty Ice has not declared for the last stand rumble yet, but we can only make the assumption that he will be entered into that contest. Oh, here, oh, here we go. Both through one, but a kick out. No one has won the last stand twice. Another oh. one here. Let alone back to back, Matty Ice could be the first man to do that. Josiah John was Another just one. Another through. One, two, but a kick out. One elimination away from making history in his rookie year. I mean, if 2023 showed us anything, we had a lot of firsts oh. at the row. We could definitely have a lot more here in 2024. Oh, Josiah. Oh. Almost up and over. Oh. Matty Ice missing. Josiah John not going up to the top rope. Oh! But Matty Smart. Ice kicked the rope to make Josiah lose his balance. And now here comes the former Reality of Wrestling champion with a suplex. Oh my. Just slammed him down with authority. Oh, the pain on Josiah John's face. The feeling of the spine hitting the hard canvas. Short elbow drop there from Matty Ice onto Josiah. Oh no, a big shot there to the back. And listen to the Row Nation, Brad. Matty Ice almost egging him on. Oh man, a stiff shot right there to the rib cage from the Ice Man. Oh. Cover here, one, two, but a kick out from Josiah. Though Matty Ice was putting his full weight there on Josiah, not hooking the legs is not a good move there. He could have finished it possibly with that one, two, three. And I think at that point, you just got to imagine that it's his cockiness that may be costing him matchups like that. But right now, Josiah John able to get back up to his feet. And look at this, now he's swinging, trying to create some space for himself. Oh! And Matty Ice once again manages to take down Josiah. Yeah, small amount of space there. Now Matty Ice backing up, what? Oh no. Oh, and here we go, Matty Ice from the top. Oh! And a splash. Into another cover here, one, two, but a kick out from Josiah. Do you think maybe that hesitation before going into that pin cost him once again, Brittany? I mean, again, like you said, the cockiness of Matty Ice. No, we can't take away his accolades that he's had all over reality of wrestling especially in the last stand rumble he has been in but those kind of mistakes could cost him even more here in reality of wrestling look at matty ice here again gearing up for something oh the rocket had it scouted or was ready for it either way 
Runs into a big boot there. And here comes Josiah. Connecting with those right hands. And this is why you can never count out Josiah, Brad. No, reversal though for Matty Ice. Over and over. Oh. Forearm. The rocket. Oh, oh the big knee. Connects with airline drive. And now Josiah. Oh, oh no. Iceman. Iceman ducked it, had it scouted, was ready for it. Oh, and look now at that. he's got him up. Oh, oh, him oh, down. The Iceman cometh. One, Cover. One, two, two three. Oh. Here is your winner, Maddie Ice. Well, Maddie Ice leaves Josiah Lang a familiar scene from the last stand. And there you said, he's signaling for that championship, Kirby. Matty I is saying that he wants to become reality wrestling champion again. But in order to do so, he has to overcome the one man that he has yet to overcome, and that's the champion, Will Alday. We will see what the future holds for Matty Eyes as we have a massive main event tonight. Jacob Fatu, Ryan Davidson, a rematch from Summer of Champions for the Texas title. More row to come after this. Houston, Texas. For four decades, Walker, Texas lawyer has represented the beautiful people of this beautiful city. But we know in this city, an accident can happen at any moment. Don't go against the insurance companies alone. They have their lawyers. You should have yours. If you've been injured in an accident, call Walker, Texas lawyer today and put four decades of experience on your side. Visit walkertexaslawyer.com today. The following contest is scheduled for one call, and it is for the reality of a wrestling Texas Championship. Introducing first from Bel Air, Texas, he is the reigning, defending Texas Championship. Ryan Davidson, ready to go here for this main event matchup as he looks to defend the Texas Championship against the foe he knows very well, Brittany. Yes, returning from Japan, caught off of that tour, and here holding the championship high. I'm gonna tell you, this Kirby, I, I would suggest pushing yourself a little away from the desk so that you can run away if something comes this way. <laughs> if Summer of Champions taught me anything, is that these two could very well tear the house down and there's not a damn thing the referee can do about it. making his way down to the ring right now. And Summer of Champions was a sight to behold. One of the best matches that I have ever witnessed live. And we are about to run it back one more time. Not only run it back, Kirby, but this is higher stakes. This is more dangerous. And that is something that Jacob Fatu thrives on. Jacob Fatu. Having done stints in MLW as well as other companies around the world, he is world traveled. He is a world class talent. And you've got to imagine that getting another championship and another promotion here like Reality of Wrestling is definitely going to look amazing on his resume. Doesn't get much bigger than this, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute. 
What? What the hell is going on here? Okay. I am Ro Nation, Jacob Fatu, Ryan Davidson. I'm making an executive decision because I don't want any kind of problems with this match. Right now, this is a non-disqualification match. Whoa, oh, here we Whoa. go. Whoa, no DQ. In our main event, Jacob Fatu, Ryan Davidson, Texas Championship. Well, I mean... We thought that the match at Summer of Champions was big. These two are going right back at it. And with a no disqualification match, that is something that Jacob Fatu thrives in. This is going to go everywhere. This could have anything involved in it. I'm pretty sure if you were to look up hard hitting on Urban Dictionary, this match could be right there as a description because there's no way that this ring would be able to maintain any of the action. Now both men fighting around the ring on the outside. Already outside and just seconds in to this match. We're going to have to watch out here as they're right here in front of us. Oh, that uppercut from Jacob Fatu connects. Hide your valuables. Hide your kids. Hide your wives. Because they're coming for everybody out here. They sure are. We know these guys will go. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, here no. we go. Ryan Davidson. Already looking. Oh, and he's got a chair in his hand. This is exactly how their matchup at Summer of Champions ended when Jacob Fatu introduced a chair. Oh, oh good lord. Now Ryan Davidson oh. missed twice. Oh, Bob and Weave. A big uppercut there from Jacob Fatu, the Samoan werewolf. Yeah. Jacob Fatu now has got Ryan Davidson up on his shoulders, but Ryan able to break free. Oh, and a big right hand from Ryan. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 drop. <laughs> right onto the apron. A Samoan drop onto the apron. Get the hell out of the way. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, no. Ryan to the steel post. Ryan and Davidson falling into, into, the, into, the, into the steel barricades. I think he broke through the barricades. That just goes to show the kind of impact that Jacob Fatu has. Jacob Fatu, the Samoan werewolf. Take a second to hydrate, smart idea. Yeah, you know, water is important. And now Jacob Fatu oh, no. takes Ryan Davidson over to the other side. Walking the around the Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. And this matchup is delivering as expected. As both guys are just taking the fight. Oh! All the steel available. Whether it be steel steps, steel chairs, steel barricade, doesn't matter. No steel steps are no joke. The pain. And Ryan Davidson is down. You saw the one being thrown up there by Jacob Fatu. Acknowledging the bloodline. And now the fight continues in the ring. Bam! Big right hand from Jacob Fatu. The damage may have been done because right now Ryan Davidson is all out of sorts. Jacob Fatu looks to be in tremendous shape tonight. Oh! Probably the best shape of his career, Brad. I, I would venture to say the exact same thing. Now, ever since that steel ring post, Ryan Davidson has not been the same. At this point, how do you think Ryan Davidson can get back into this, Brittany? He's going to have to fight back. He's going to have to fight a little dirty, as you saw right there, stepping on the toes of Jacob Fatu. You gotta pull out all the stops again now that it is a no disqualification. You, have, oh, you can't just rely on your technical skills alone. He's insane. The Samoan werewolf is insane. I've never seen it, a competitor like him. A hundred percent. Look at this. Oh, unveiling just a, a mass 
of chairs underneath the ring. Yeah, I don't know if people can see what we can see from yeah. our vantage point, but there's a, a cacophony of, of different chaotic weapons. As now the steel trap has been set up in between the top and middle ropes on one of the corners here. Oh, no. What could be going on in the twisted mind of Jacob Davidson? Fatu? Oh! Acknowledging a familial bloodline of excellence is the Samoan werewolf. And seeing Fatu now standing tall, honestly looking in the best shape of his life so far. Uh, exactly. I mean, it, 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 the transformation is definitely noticeable. These two had... Oh my God! What people described as the match of the year at Summer of Champions 9 in front of a record-breaking crowd for reality of wrestling. And now the chair. The chair just meeting the back of Ryan Davidson. Saying, is this all you got? I have never seen Ryan Davidson be dominated like this thus far. An absolutely master class here from Jacob Fatu. Using the extent of the no disqualification stipulation. Oh. And taking it as far oh, as he can oh. as he now just meeting him with those headbutts. Fatu just mauling him. Now they do say that the Samoans have the hardest heads in the game. Oh. Oh. Right to the solar plexus. Steal the bone. Stalking the bear oh. is the werewolf. And again. Jacob fought two right now. Could be just moments away from capturing. He's having his, a blast. His first ever championship here in reality of wrestling. But oh. he's in there against the cornerstone of the reality of wrestling. As you saw Ryan Davidson there catch the steel chair. Oh. And now, oh, he opened the chair and that's how he caught Jacob Fatu's fingers. That's and correct. here we go. The, 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 the history of these two dates back really oh. far. Back to the original last stand match, if, if memory serves me correct, or one of them. Jacob Fatu and Ryan Davidson were amongst the final entrants. Not only were they the, the amongst the final entrants, they were the final two. And, and we saw Ryan Davidson eliminate Jacob Fatu. And now here to a cover. One, two, to retain. No. Oh. We saw Ryan Davidson eliminate Jacob Fatu last in order to claim his first ever reality wrestling championship. It was on that night he became the first ever Grand Slam champion in this company's history. But since then, Ryan Davidson has claimed two more reality wrestling championships in this very Texas championship. As you can see, Ryan Davidson right there, he's calling for the Davidson driver. Will he be able to lift him up and connect? Oh, no. no. That, that leg is hurting. That leg is hurting. And the midsection as well. Those chairs are starting to pay off. Ryan Davidson. Oh, what is this? Well oh, my. Springboard. Oh. Cover, can he make the cover, cover to become Texas champion? One, two, Ryan Davidson's done, no! Owen. A near fall for Jacob Fatu. Almost was just a sliver away from claiming the Texas championship. But look at this, Jacob Fatu just walking around, stalking his prey. Look at that. Oh. oh! Looking for a pop up power bomb reversed by the bear. Into a grizzled vet. And here goes Ryan Davidson, ducks the clothesline. Gets oh. back to down to a knee. Connects with a knee of his own. And here we go. Davidson, driver! Oh my god, that could be it. That could be it. Into the Going cover. For the cover. One, One, two, two to retain the no, goal. No, no, no. A close call there for the Texas champion. But it's going to take a lot more than that to take down the Samoan werewolf. The amount of wear and tear on their body.
bodies just in this match alone. And right now we are finding out which man has more fight in them oh. as they are exchanging shots in the middle of the ring. Stiff right hand and a right discus there. uppercut. Big right hand there from the champion. And now an uppercut from the challenger. Oh. Super kick. What is and he now, doing? From a standing position, oh. another moonsault but misses. It rattles him for just a bit. And now, oh! Same thing, connected with clotheslines. Both men down in the middle of the ring. This is your main event for the Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. And of course, champion's advantage. Row Nation thoroughly enjoying the brutality here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. And as I said, the referee counting champion's advantage. If they don't rise, Ryan will still be the Texas champion. But you know that that's not how he wants this fight to end as both guys get to one to both knees here and they're still fighting to have the honor of calling themselves Texas champion. Ryan looking to continue his reign. Jacob Fatu to claim the goal for the first time. The and pop of Samoan drop. An elbow pad went flying, it looks like. Cover yes. one. Open a kick out at one. Whoa. Somehow, Ryan Davidson was able to kick out at one from the pop of Samoan drop. Jacob Fatu looks, looks confused. Oh. As, as I would be as well. Ryan Davidson out here. In on the outside of the ring, no DQs, of course. Jacob Fatu laying there and has just extinguished nearly all of his energy. And this is what being a champion in reality of wrestling is all about. It's now Jacob Fatu. He's thinking something big Fatu. here. Going from Fatu. one end. And now Fatu is busted oh, open. Fatu is busted open. What a shot. Oh, no. Fatu is busted open. This matchup has turned into an absolute war once again. Well, we knew there would be sweat and tears spilled for this Texas championship, but we did not know there would be also blood. It's right now, Jacob Fatu is in the middle rope. What is going on here? A headbutt there. And now, we saw this at Summer of Champions. Will Jacob Fatu be able to have enough in him to continue here as he is in a bad spot? No now, way. Jacob Fatu from the no top way. rope. Even after no that way. chair shot. Continues. <laughs> Turned it into a suplex in the middle of the ring. Into the cover. One, two. Is that going to be enough? And that's he did it. it. He did it. Ryan Davidson did it. Here is your winner. And still, Texas champion, Ryan. What a matchup that was for the Texas Championship as Ryan Davidson has finally vanquished the question of whether he could beat Jacob Fatu. A definitive victory at what cost for both men? The Ryan. Texas Championship and its prestige on display in our main event. Ryan Davidson still having trouble getting back up to his feet and then it goes to show how much it took out of him in order to topple the Samoan werewolf. And you can see the respect here from everybody at the Walker Texas Warrior Arena. Everybody on their feet. Everybody showing their appreciation for the Texas champion.
And I would hope that for the Simone Werewolf as well. Ryan Davidson showing the battle wounds in what can only be described as an instant classic. A main event we will not soon forget for a championship that means the world to that man. For our executive producers, Booker and Charmel Huffman, our director, Kevin Bernhardt, my broadcast colleagues, Brittany Howland and Kirby Carrion, I am the Bo Brad Gilmore saying we will see you at the last stand.